Hickok 45 here. No, you're not looking at the Planet of the Apes movie. We've got a high point 10 millimeter carbine. Let's shoot something with it. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> 10 millimeter. Cowboy, what do you think of 10 millimeter? <laughs> hey, what about you, Mr. Gong? Let's see if I can hit it. Gotta hold low. <laughs> All right, the bolt stayed back. Locking, it's a blowback operation, of course, like I think all high points. But this is a high point, isn't it cute? Yeah, I'll try not to make too much fun of it. It is what it is. They run a little bit over 400 bucks. And, uh, you know, this is a, the fact that it's 10 millimeter. Uh, appeal to me. So that's cool. They got that out in 10 millimeter now. Let's just shoot one uh, See what I think about it And uh, it uh, it has some uh, I don't know. I guess it has some positive it has some negatives uh, for sure But we're not gonna just bash high point. You know, like, again, they are what they are I fired it You know uh, recently and uh, a few weeks ago, whatever and uh, You know, I've been very fortunate. I get to shoot some and own some really nice vintage Winchesters You know an M1 Garand uh, Civil War rifles, you know, nice patina, Colt single actions, just firearms that just warm your heart. But nothing, nothing comes close to this. This is just gorgeous, don't you think? So there I said I wasn't going to make fun of it. Polymer, die cast, you know, I mean, that's, that's how they're able to make them uh, inexpensively. And uh, they're blowback operation, and so they're not too complicated. They're generally kind of heavy because they're blowback operation. And, you know, like I say, you get what you get. And uh, this is kind of the pistol with a long barrel, you know, blowback. And I, t to me, uh, the carbines are a little more, uh, I don't know, a little more desirable, I guess the word, less offensive than some of the gigantic handguns. Like you get a 45 ACP or 10 millimeter handgun high point. It really is almost comically large in, in a lot of ways compared with others. And, uh, but when you've got a carbine, something like this, you're going to shoulder it anyway and it's seven or eight pounds, it, you know, it's not a big deal as, as much as having a seven or eight pound handgun. <laughs> so, you know, I'm trying to be nice and uh, let's, let's put another mag in it so we can get it to work. So far, it's done pretty well. Uh, I think in the Sunday video, I had a, a hang up, a double feed, and a bunch of issues like that. But, uh, Let's see if we can shoot this thing some more here. Now, the, the one big negative, I mean, I can, I can overcome a bad trigger usually and different things. But it, I, it really, one of the things I just hate is when the, the rifle or carbine is such that you can't, I can't get my face down on it almost down to see the sights. I could put a red dot or something on here, but uh, the sight, I was just going to shoot the sights that are on it and it was shooting high so i had to actually lower the rear sight okay which makes that worse so you notice me you're getting way down on this thing <laughs> in the trying to find that front sight so it, it is difficult for me to shoot for that reason i've got a big jawbone or something though and uh some people uh, are not as bothered by that as i am let's try it again shoot something all right how about uh let's try the buffalo should be able to hold on his feet and hit him, maybe. There we go. Yeah, a little ram hunting and buffalo hunting. About two liter hunting up here close. Uh, and finish him off. It's rare that you get two shots at the same two liter. Do you notice that? <laughs> How about a blue one? Ooh, doggies. And let's smoke a little pot. High point pot smoking. High point bowling. So far, no malfunctions there. You know, speaking of polymer and that kind of stuff, we also want to thank uh, Alabama. We used them for many, many years. So we really appreciate them coming on board as a sponsor. Great, great company, great people. Yep, speaking of polymer, there are good uses for it. There really are. And uh, 
So yeah, you see what you see here. Uh, interesting, you know, firearm. I think I'll uh, let me load a little, uh, some more Underwood. Uh, again, speaking of that, we appreciate Widener. Uh, dot com. Let's see, I got a hollow point maybe. Yeah, got a little Underwood out here. Got some S and B, some a couple of different kinds of Underwood. I don't know what else I. How heavy my hand loads do I? Maybe some trophy bond in it. Yeah, got. I'm gonna put some hollow points in here. I don't know if I've tried hollow points yet. Let's see if it'll feed them. If it's going to be your combat uh, carbine, you want to be able to use hollow points. Okay. So we'll see how those work. All right. That watermelon reminded me. We need to put a hollow point on it. If it makes any difference. Ah, all right. All right, watermelon. Let's see if we can hit you. Ooh, all right. <laughs> We got gotcha. you. We got gotcha. you. We'll put a hollow point on Mr. Tulia right there. Woo! And how about on the gong? Yeah, I think Underwood primarily makes their hollow points for gongs. Try that uh, pig on the left up there. Wow. All right. That's a sound I like to hear. that yeah boy accurate carbine accurate Can you believe that <laughs> not bad not bad uh you know i started to say it could be worse right and that, again that's just me making fun of of something like this that's uh rather uh non-ergonomic in a lot of ways and all that and because of the uh blowback operation it's pretty a heavy uh recoil you know for a 10 millimeter and it fire them this weight yeah but you get that with the with the blowback so i don't know a lot about it that uh i'm not going to become a student of these of course i did read that uh it may not be a pure uh picatinny rail maybe a weaver or at least they used to use weaver so you want to check that out uh, make sure it's uh, something that will fit whatever site you're going to plan to stick on it okay and uh you know just the metal sights the front side's pretty distinct this thing is nice and solid uh, I don't know. So, you know, kind of get what you get with one of these, and uh, something that works, 400 bucks in that that range. The trigger really is not that bad. I mean, it's not. Now, for me, that's a compliment when I say something's not that bad. Let's see, what was I gonna do? I know what I was gonna do. I'll, I'll put a few more rounds in here, and I'll uh, maybe put that suppressor on for kicks. You know, just for heck. Now, with a blowback operation, I don't know. I make it a lot of blowback. Okay but I'll try a few, all right. So there's a firearm for everybody out there. And uh, as much as some of us like to make fun, pick on high point a little bit, uh, you know, I mean, they, they know their market and they, they make guns uh, for people that don't want to spend a ton of money on a firearm and still have a firearm. And uh, it's, it's good that we have firearms available in every price range, whatever that takes. And, and, and people that make fun of, a high point whether it's us or anybody else we're not making fun no one's really making fun of people that are struggling to buy a, a $200 gun or something okay it's uh, it's just when you've handled a lot of different firearms most of which are fairly ergonomic and some are really ergonomic you know I mean just just feel so good operate so smoothly and you've experienced a lot of different firearms it's the contrast yeah that, that's the thing it's the contrast the especially with the handguns they're, they're, they really are kind of comically uh, large and, and heavy and, and awkward at least in the tens and the large calibers in 45 uh, it, uh, to those people you know who have handled a lot of different firearms uh, but we're not making fun of the fact that you know I don't know somebody uh, of anybody okay it's just it's, they're just so dramatically different okay that's really what it is so just like if you're used to driving a, a decent car, you know, and there's probably some cars you get in and try to drive and, and kind of laugh at, you know, just because they feel so awkward to you or so much different. All right, so, oh yeah. Well, we got the bolt open. Why don't we try the suppressor? Maybe kind of fun. We're definitely empty. You notice I always double, triple check before I start messing around up here putting a suppressor on because, you know, you just want to do that. You know? It, it, it feels wrong to be messing around the, the muzzle just, just period to begin with. 
I always feel like I do easier to get these on with gravity helping me out. Yeah, it just falls right in. Little tip there, no charge. But it's true when you're uh, like horizontal, it's just odd. It's not like putting a bolt for some reason, like on a, a nut on a bolt as easily. It's just, for, I mean, I know it's because it's so long, it's just uh, more problematic to get it uh, squared up, I guess. Okay, wow. And now there's a rig, a uh, high point <laughs> with a, a suppressor that's, uh, well, I guess it'd be, yeah, cost more than the firearm, right? That's okay. So now this is not going to make it quiet, but uh, it's, uh, why not? Yeah, we've got it. And it's threaded. It's threaded, so let's try it. Let's try one on the gong. All right. <laughs> yeah, boy. Makes it more pleasant sounding. <laughs> I get a little uh, face slap with this thing. Again, you do get a little bit of recoil, uh, being uh, you know blowback, heavy bolt, and everything. We'll try one more mag before I let you go. I don't know if there's anything else you were dying to know about it. But you know, obviously, you can look it up, and uh, I think they make these, and they make them, they've been making these for a long time. Nine millimeter, like 45, and now in 10, and uh, different configurations. I'm sure I'm not a student of them. One thing I hadn't pointed out: you do have a spring kind of loaded uh, butt pad back here, and that gives a little bit with the recoil. I don't know if that helps or not, but. Uh, if you just get a, 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 I get a slap, and plus it's, you do have a little bit of recoil with that heavy bolt blowback uh, operation, and then this thing will spring a little bit, and so you got a lot going on there, but it are what it are. All right, take a couple more shots. It's not every day that you get the opportunity to fire a high point suppressed. Let's face it. So. I'm going to take full advantage. <laughs> All right, it's combat time here. Combat time, if I can find the sights. <laughs> yes, we're ready for combat. Bolts open and it's empty. So 10 millimeter carbine. Might be just what the doctor ordered. It's something you'd like to have to, to play with and uh, maybe not go into combat with it, but uh, it's, it's out there and it's not all that expensive. And it, check online. People will tell you that their high points tend to function. You know, I've, I've seen so many people comment about how they've shooting thousands of rounds without any problems, you know, and uh, especially the carbines. So. Now this one, uh, let's see, I'm just gonna remember the model number on this, I think it's 1095, 1095 high point, uh, high point carbine. Roughly 400, a little bit more uh, MSRP, I believe. So it's available in 10 millimeter. It comes with one magazine. Uh, I bought a couple extra magazines myself, just so I have them for the video, but uh, the, the firearm has one magazine with it. So we appreciate Bud's lending it to us and uh, send it back to him. And I really appreciate y'all coming out to enjoy this fine firearm with the perfect aesthetics. You know, that thing is just, kind of reminds me of uh, my Mauser. Yeah, my bolt action Mauser. Just a superb uh, piece of hardware. So it works though. Life is good. Oh yeah, that's better. This is a great gun for defense. Oh, hey, didn't see you guys there. Uh, while I've got you here, I want to remind you of our friends over at Talon Grips and Ballastall. Talon Grips makes uh, grips, can you believe it, uh, for all different types of firearms. You can get rough texture or more of a rubberized texture. Uh, just sticks right on there. You know, really affordable, really cool option to in, improve the grip for your handguns um, or, or rifles. Uh, so please check them out at talongungrips.com. You'll be glad you did. And also Ballastall. 
Uh, Dad has been using Ballastol for many years. It's a cleaner and a lubricant, and it's non-toxic. Uh, it works really great, and we're happy to have them on board since it's been a part of our shooting endeavor for a very long time. So go to ballastall.com, talongungrips.com. And also, while you're out there, I'm juggling all these things here. Also, uh, while you're on the internet, please do check out our other social media like Hickok45 on Facebook. There's also Hickok45 on Twitter, the real Hickok45 on Instagram. There's a John underscore Hickok45 on Instagram where I do some things. There's Hickok45.com. Uh, you can find us also on GunStreamer. So check out all that stuff and then watch more videos.